Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. We think pretty is pretty important in all things in beauty. Welcome to Radio AMB, designed for those who want to live a long and vibrant life. I'm Patty Smucker, a licensed cosmetologist who's been in the industry for over 40 years. Radio AMB stands for American Made Beauty, and it's where we tell the secrets behind the making of health and beauty products. Our segment sponsor today is AmericanMadeBeauty.com. It's a platform designed to help consumers find companies that are implementing the industry's best practices to bring you quality product and services. Go to AmericanMadeBeauty.com and check out our new e-commerce that will be coming this weekend. One of the things I love about America is our ability to find solutions to problems. My guest today is Jim Palmer, not James Alvin Palmer, the retired American right-handed pitcher who played all of his 19 years of Major League Baseball for the Baltimore Orioles and was elected the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1990, but another Jim Palmer who's also knocking the ball out of the park with all types of brands made in America. In our featured segment, you'll learn a little bit about what is Buy Direct USA and why it started, the reasons why manufacturers got into so much trouble, and the way that manufacturing evaporating in the United States has impacted people's lives. We'll talk a little bit about um, what manufacturers are facing in getting uh, products uh, that are uh, being lost in the sea of imports that are coming into the United States. During the rest of our show, uh, show we're just going to ebb and flow through a conversation that talks about helping established manufacturers and entrepreneurs use creative tools to really make their businesses stand out, how important uh, PR and digital are, um, are playing a role in helping brands to be more effective, and how Jim is using collaborations to create opportunities for uh, brands in America. So with that, allow me to introduce you to the owner of Direct uh, by Direct USA, Mr. Jim Palmer. Welcome. Delighted to have you with us. Hey, thanks for having me on. I uh, appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually the uh, marketing and press director of, of Buy Direct USA, um, but, uh, you know, I, w- I was involved in, in helping to get launched uh, way back in 1998, so um, proud to proud to be part of that. That's great. So tell us um, a little bit, um, are, are you related at all to the baseball player? Um, probably by name. I'm not sure <laughs> if, if uh, there's anything more than that. I've never really researched it. But, uh, if if uh, pitching runs in the family, it doesn't run in mine. Um, I never, never got the ability to throw much. So. Well, you certainly have you certainly have uh, with Buy Direct USA um, thrown around a lot of various different things. So tell us what exactly is Buy Direct USA. Well, it's it's uh, a website uh, basically dedicated to American manufacturing, and uh, like I said, we we launched way back in 1998 in an effort to help uh, manufacturers affected by NAFTA. Now that was 1998, mind you, uh, way before uh, promoting Buy American was cool again. Um, but you know, we've 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 since morphed in from just a basic directory into going into launching and, and, and helping people launch uh, advertising marketing campaigns. So let me, let's go back for a second because for, for a lot of our, our uh, listeners, they may not understand some of the dynamics. So it's 1998. I, explain to us exactly um, what is NAFTA and why it affected manufacturing in the United States. Well, NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, um, it was it was uh, created by our wonderful politicians in an effort to help uh, boost jobs with with American manufacturers. Is what they said it was going to create over 200,000 jobs and uh, help exports to Mexico and Canada, as well as uh, you know bring in imports from Mexico and Canada. 
And what has happened over the years is that a lot of manufacturers uh, who moved to Mexico or Canada, and, and because the imports from those those countries were a lot cheaper than what they were being produced here in the United States, manufacturers went out of business, or they moved those jobs over to Mexico where they could produce products a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, and that makes sense in the business wise because you need the profit. But uh, it doesn't help the Americans who were working for those companies. Uh, those 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 people were they were left without anything, um, and so you know you have huge towns basically ravaged ravaged uh, by the industries being shut down. Um, and there's there's some states uh, as high as forty percent unemployment uh, or not unemployment but manufacturing job loss. Um, from 1994 to 2016. Um, so you can imagine the devastation on jobs that way. Uh, people losing their homes because they can't afford to pay for them. People, um, you know, looking for odd jobs uh, just just to make ends meet. And you know, it, it causes all kinds of uh, different issues. Uh, when we got involved, we we watched the news and we saw people standing in line waiting for bread, and it was actually a bread line. You'd think, well, it's the 1930s, it's the 1990s, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but here they are, people in North Carolina standing in bread lines, one of the hardest hit states for, for the textile industry. And we said, we got to do something about this. Um, so we came up with the idea of Direct USA as a, as a, as a means for um, those manufacturers that, who, who were willing to stay here and were staying here. Uh, to get the word out about the products they're making. And it didn't matter if they were uh, huge Fortune 500 companies or if they were small mom-and-pop shops. Uh, we wanted everybody to have that opportunity. And so, um, and, and that makes great sense. So you, you started um, basically a directory attracting all of those companies that were actually staying in the country. Um, and um, have you seen that those, this is 1998, I mean, we're, we're now um, going on almost 20 years. How has those regions changed and morphed as a result of the traditional manufacturing jobs not being there? Um, well, the, I mean, if you look at areas uh, like Flint, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, uh, Pittsburgh, PA, and parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania, just just all over the country, Mississippi, and and, and these countries, you know, these these uh, it just had a, a, a huge impact on on the way uh, that the unemployment rate went up, crime mm -hmm. rate went up, mm -hmm. um, basically the the factories went into disarray uh, as they were abandoned, um, you know. And, and the net effect was that additional businesses uh, beyond those those factories and those manufacturing plants um, also collapsed as a result. So then you have, you know, half of the city closing down. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you Flint, Michigan as, as an example since uh, GM moved out of there. Um, Flint, Michigan used to have a population of, of I believe, over 500,000 people. And now they're barely over 100,000. Mm-hmm. Um, you can imagine the impact that it's going to have. Right. Uh, there are lar now large farms in downtown Detroit uh, because of all the blight, the houses uh, that fell in disrepair, the, the, the mega factory buildings that have been crushed. Um, you know, it's it changed the landscape of this country. Right. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, green space isn't bad, but, uh, you know, there's a better way to get it. <laughs> right. Uh, so, you know, the... You, you have scores of people who are who were working hard, um, and and now they have no job. Right. Uh, so what do they do? They they tr they move around the country. They try to find a better place. Uh, they move in with family. They, they you know a lot of people keep keep looking uh, for viable employment. Uh, other people just gave up and, and you know they either retired or, or you know go on social security, and uh, just say forget it. Right. And so why do you think that um, the manufacturers got caught so by, uh, by surprise? What was, um, why are manufacturers um, in so much trouble? Um, and why did, did they not understand that that, that possibility existed? I think, that, I think that some did. I think that, um, you know, some of them didn't, didn't embrace the new technology. Um, some uh, 
just did what they could to survive. And I, and I think that, you know, that some of that planning uh, wasn't well thought out, and I think that's, that's part of the problem is if, if you don't have a, a good plan, a good business plan, and you have to adapt and change to, to technology, you have to adapt and change to uh, even political climate now. Uh, you, you have to, you know, change to those things and, and make sure that you're watching the bottom line. But, you know, the fact remains is that uh, you can't pay American workers uh, what you would expect to pay somebody in Mexico or China. Um, you know, it, it, we have laws against that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if you were paying somebody here, that would be considered um, <laughs> a criminal. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I, and I think you know some of those some of those uh, industries have managed to survive because they got creative and they they found other ways to promote their products they they found ways to sell directly to the consumer they found other ways to cut cost uh found other markets where they could they could get involved in so they they diversified as much as possible and you know there are, there are companies out there that have been around since the 1800s and and they've done that because um, they were ready, and uh, you know, I, I think that just that just comes uh, with with the territory. People who are going to prepare, and those who don't, and and those who don't, uh, obviously, they they reap the rewards of that. So right, and I think that's the the interesting part of this conversation is really that you know the opportunity for manufacturing in the United States is very much a viable one. The issue is that there are um, different constraints, and one of them you mentioned, and that is the cost of labor. Um, but as we're seeing more and more um, that manufacturing is returning as people are getting creative, and I know one in particular is injection molding, uh, plastic injection molding manufacturing, which had almost entirely gone offshore, but in the last Last decade, we're seeing more and more of it returning as automation is coming in, and what used to um, encompass 25 to 50 people on a line, um, man, you know, uh, uh, working the, the the machines are now being manned by one or two people because all of the work is done by automation. Um, but those people, those one or two people, are being paid substantially more than those, you know, 25 or 50 laborers that were on the line <clears throat> at, a, at another time. So really being able to change the landscape um, of, of um, the way that manufacturing is done. But in that environment where we were faced with a lot of imports um, and there were, you know, products that were, um, you know, a flood of, of, of imports on the market, how did that affect um, manufacturers of products here in the United States? Well, essentially, uh, with the with the flood of imports, it, it it made it nearly impossible for for manufacturers to compete with those low low prices. Um, you know, at, at the same time, you, you you look at some of the imports and the quality, and they they weren't produced as good either. But uh, people saw the price tag and and went for the imports instead. And not to mention, now, of course, the retail markets um, they're going to pick up. These, these lower priced items and offer those to the customers before they would hire, offer a higher priced uh, product made in the USA mm -hmm. uh, because it makes more sense for their, their bottom line. Mm -hmm. um, there's a bigger markup on imports than, than what most people would really understand. Uh, you know, where they can, they can mark up a product, by, I've seen them five, six times higher than what they cost at wholesale. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as to compared to, let's say, an American-made product where you might be able to get 25 to 50 percent markup. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a, there's a lot more money to be made in those, in those cheaper products. Right. And and yet, at this point, do you think that the in the last 20 years, one of the great equalizers in all of this has been the Internet? Do you see that that is helping to create more of parity with regards to pricing and the demand for certain types of goods? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we're, we're seeing uh, new startups all the time, um, and, and that's, that's – uh, 
part of the beauty of it is that now manufacturers uh, don't have to rely on distributors. They don't have to rely on wholesalers. They don't have to rely on uh, you know retail stores. They can go directly to the consumer themselves and share their products with with consumers. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you, when you can sell it directly that way, you can still make a small profit. You don't have to have the huge markup. And the consumer can know exactly um, where where this product came from. Um, I mean, I, I can think of many different industries where where they're doing that. Um, there's a flatware company up in New York. It used to be Oneida. Uh, Oneida closed down, and and the, the guys who bought it were were former Oneida employees. Mm-hmm. And uh, they bought it and uh, started a, a small factory called Liberty Tabletop. Mm-hmm. This is now the only flatware company making flatware in the USA. Wow. And they sell directly to consumer. Mhm. Uh they don't they don't they've gotten calls from the big box stores and they don't sell in those stores. Uh they can't uh, sell them to the wholesale price that you know would would be profitable enough for them so and and they refuse to because that would cheapen their product. Right. Right. Um you know, and there's 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 so many other companies working working hard like that uh, to be innovative and creative, using the internet, um, and and you know not just the internet, but uh, they're still using uh, traditional media as well. But the internet has has really helped launch a lot of new entrepreneurs in the American-made products. Right. And so the uh, the one of the differences between Buy uh, Direct USA and American Made Beauty is we focus just on beauty brands whereas you focus on any kind of brand made in made in the United States. Can you tell us a, a couple of them that stand out in your mind as as pretty exciting um offers that are being made here in the United States? Uh, there there are a few. Um one one there's a there's a, a sheet brand uh called uh Authenticity fifty. And this is uh started by a couple um who are creating bedding and they're creating uh luxury bedding. Uh the kind you would you would you would uh, if you went into a luxury hotel mm-hmm. and slept for a night and you know how the sheets are just Really, really nice. But we call them buttery. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's what they're producing, except for they're 100 percent made in USA. Right. Um, and and they have contracts with farms. They, I mean, they go from the cotton they, to the thread making to, to the whole the whole gamut of making sure that it's all 100 percent. Uh huh. Um, and and for for the pricing, I mean, they're luxury sheets, so they're going to cost a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But they're going to last. Right. And. Uh, they, they're quite enjoyable. Uh, there's a company called Dutch Crafters who makes furniture, Amish furniture, uh, handcrafted, made in the USA, and uh, it's solid. I've been to their showroom in Sarasota, Florida. Um, awesome stuff. Um, I, I can't say enough about it. If you want quality furniture made to uh, pass down for generations, you know, like they used to way back when, mm-hmm. uh, that's the place to go. Right. And where are they located? They're located in Sarasota, Florida. Uh huh. Okay. But their website is DutchCrafters.com. Okay, Dutch DutchCrafter.com. Okay, cool. Yeah, and you can you can see the link on our website too. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But uh, you know that's that's just uh, one of many. But there's I mean there's clothing companies. There's there's um, a whole slew of them, and you know the these are the people who who are working hard every day. Um, some of them, like I said, are new. Uh, there's a there's a woman um, who is making makeup in the U.S. and that's right down your line. Mm-hmm. But uh, the difference between what she's doing and uh, her company is called Makeup America is that she's using her makeup to help pay down the national debt. So every a uh, dollar from every every purchase goes towards paying the national debt. I don't know of any other company that's trying to do that. Um, she hopes to empower women and to inspire other companies to do the same. Um, imagine if a dollar of all, of all makeup and beauty products went towards the national debt, how fast it would get paid down. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, but if anything, it would it would bring more attention to our politicians to know that, um, you know, national debt's a little bit out of hand. Uh, maybe we should do something about it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, I mean, that's that's pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, and there's so many more. If you want to hear a couple more, I'd be glad to share them with you. Yeah, give us give us one more. Okay. 
Uh, all USA Clothing. They're a, they're a brand out of Michigan. Uh, they do a lot of uh, production of uh, screen printing, things like that, but they also offer a huge selection of everyday work clothes. And people tell me, well, American clothing is too expensive. Uh, the stuff they sell is not too expensive. I buy it myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I'm budget conscious. <laughs> so um, I think most Americans are. Um, so if you're looking for everyday clothing, uh, go there and check them out. Well, and I, I love the idea that we have uh, the opportunity. I mean, who would have thought that we would be in a situation in 2017 that cotton is being grown in such a way that it actually ends up in the clothes that we can wear on our back? Um, and the fact that you're, you're creating a platform to be able to uh, feature them uh, in all these various different industries, um, obviously it, it speaks to me uh, in a great way. So um, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about the creative ways that brands are um, using to grow their business. So stay with us, and we'll be right back. Over here, here's a secret for a virus-free computer. ESET, they've been a pioneer in the antivirus industry for over 25 years. 25 years of innovative, top-rated antivirus protection. ESET's award-winning security solutions provide a safe online experience for over 100 million home and business computer owners. They are so affordable, fast, and simple to use. So be gone, you blue screen of death. ESET's on my computer. If it's not on yours, visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on ESET now. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com, visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Now. What does HealthyLife.net and Amazon.com have in common? Well, they're both available on the Internet. They both give great value. But most important, most of our positive program hosts and guests are accomplished authors. And their books are available from, you got it, Amazon.com. Now it even gets better than that. Because when you're listening on air to a HealthyLife.net host or guest, you can go directly to Amazon.com and you can order your book while you're still listening to your favorite HealthyLife.net program. So when you hear an author you like, go to the homepage of HealthyLife.net and click on Amazon.com. Where positive people and radio unite. HealthyLife.net Welcome back. This is Patty Smucker, and you're listening to Radio AMB on HealthyLife.net. I'm here with Jim Palmer. Uh, with Buy Direct USA, and we're talking a little bit about a directory that lists not only, as we do, all of, uh, we, we list, uh, American Beauty does just beauty and wellness products. Uh, Buy Direct USA is a directory that talks about uh, brands made in America in all sectors. So for our audience, uh, Jim, can you start out by just really succinctly defining what Buy Direct USA? It's a directory, but there's other um, um, services that you offer. Right. Well, we we uh, do advertising, promotional, PR, um, and, and even even a little bit of, of publicizing. <laughs> uh, so essentially, what we do is when we we get an advertiser. Um, we work with them to see what their needs are. So if they're looking for more brand awareness or they're looking to um, promote their products more, uh, any gamut of things that that you would do with marketing, uh, we do our best to help them out. And uh, we have a very, very niche uh, market here with with Buying American. 
Now, I know there are other directories and things out there that will list websites, and I think that's fantastic. But we go beyond just listing somebody's website. Uh, what we do is we promote it. So we will promote it on a, through our social media accounts. We, we promote it uh, through uh, printed advertising. Uh, we we uh, give out handouts at uh, different veterans affairs you know, groups, things like that. Um, so essentially what we're doing is we're, we're, we're continuing their marketing, continuing to get their brand name out there on a daily basis. On, on Twitter, we have uh, just we have one account uh, for one of our websites, uh, which has about 50,000 followers. Okay. And with our 50,000 followers, uh, probably 85% of them are active. And what they, what our followers do is they, they support they support Buy American and they retweet our posts. They, you know, they we're we're out there marketing. We're not making any any um, secrets out of it. We're telling people we're marketing products that are made in America. And uh, we're asking them to support those products, and we're asking them to help us promote it. And so they'll retweet us, they'll repost our posts, uh, either on Facebook or, or Pinterest or anywhere else. And it helps us reach about 3 to 5 million people a day. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I don't see anybody else doing that. It would be wonderful if they do. Uh, we also have an app developed so we can promote through that as well, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we finally got one because everybody else is doing it. Right. We might as well have one. Right. Um, and, and there was a great company that uh, offered to help us do that. So, and um, they're listed on our website as well. Um, go for you. Uh, go for Made in USA. And uh, you know, great company, great guys who support what we do, and uh, they're they're really adamant about doing it. Anyway. Um, and so, how does somebody get the app? Uh, you can go to the iTunes or you can go to buydirectusa.com and uh, click on the logo on our website that says App Store. Okay. All right. And um, and so how are you seeing um, in this in this period of time, this last 15, 20 years, as you've been uh, working with companies, give us some of the creative strategies that companies are using to grow their business. You know, some of them uh, get a little bit crazy and they'll, and they'll uh, respond to – uh, media post, um, you know, stories and articles, whether it be uh, a presidential candidate. Um, you know, uh, we've we've seen uh, people uh, tweet directly to Donald Trump. We've seen people um, do different things with social media that uh, draw attention. Um, and and I, I think that uh, utilizing that tool alone will, will get a lot of attention to you. But they're using uh, creative videos. Um, you know, there's so many different platforms out there now where you can share videos beyond YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they're using Instagram. They're using uh, the things that are humorous. They're, and, and, and the biggest thing is they're, when, they, when they are on social media, they're not, um, they're not using it to try to sell products. What they're doing is using it to create an environment where people feel comfortable with them. Um, they create relationships and they build relationships with them. Um, I mean, those are the things that you you want. You want to build a relationship. You build that trust with your your customers, your potential consumers. And when they feel connected to your company, they're going to be more apt to buy from you, and they're going to be more apt to share your company with other people. And uh, those are, I mean, those are some of the things that people are doing. Um, others are getting out there and they're giving uh, things like lifetime guarantees on their product. Uh, true lifetime guarantees. Right. I mean, uh, if, if there's a problem, you call them up and they replace it. They don't ask questions. Um, can you imagine that in these days? <laughs> right, right. You know, and, and it's true. It's these little things. And I think, you know, you make such a good point with regards to social media because everybody is out there pushing a message. And at the end of the day, the difference between uh, traditional advertising and social media is that it's really about building relationships. And you have to be able to, uh, the same way in a, in a uh, physical environment, you have to make investments in creating trust and bond and relationship. You have to do that in the virtual world as well. So it sounds like you really help guide companies in understanding that particular important uh, um, approach. Absolutely. And, you know, that's, that's one of the biggest things I, I tell our customers and, and our advertisers. 
Um, if, if you're going to be on social media, by all means, be on it and be sociable. Mm-hmm. Um, don't just like people's comments. And unless you have thousands and thousands of followers, it's, you, it's hard to reply to everybody. Right. Um, a like is, is, is similar to um, commenting, but if you can actually respond to somebody's comment, good or bad, mm-hmm. um, that's going to bring that's going to bring more attention to your brand. People are going to see that you really do care. Right. And you know, I'm more apt to buy from somebody that I think cares about what I what I what I am as a as a consumer. As a, you know, as far as do I care about their their brand? Um, do I dislike something about their brand? Do they care that I dislike it? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, those are the kind of things that that are really going to bring more awareness to your company. Um, if you're on social media and you you can't respond to people, then you need you know some kind of manager to help you do that. Right. Um, it's a full time job. Yeah. And, and, and I mean that's that's also a service that we we offer as we we do um, social media management. Well, and I know we're going to talk. I want to talk a little bit um, more about that um, in our next segment. But before we leave this segment, because we only got a minute left, I also loved the, your comment with regards to the lifetime guarantee. I can tell you, I bought a bag from Brookstone. Um, literally, it was 20, over 25 years ago, and it, I bought it because it had a lifetime guarantee, and I actually did take that bag back after 8 or 10 years, and my husband stood outside because he was like, oh, no, they're not going to take it back, and lo and behold, they did and gave me a new bag, and I here I am 20-something years later telling the story. That's the, and that's power uh, to be able to, to um, have that kind of impression on consumers. So. Those little things to build brand awareness makes a a huge difference. So we're going to take another break, and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about how Buy Direct USA is also helping to extend uh, staff resources by utilizing um, social media. So stay with us. We'll be right back. the thing about beauty it's pretty at americanmadebeauty.com we're all about the pretty making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine we have essentially everything you need and americanmadebeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the u.s of a imagine everything you need from the best hair skin and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at americanmadebeauty.com we also think you're pretty important so visit americanmadebeauty.com browse buy learn americanmadebeauty.com for all your live or pre-recorded webcasting needs, come to earthchannel.com. Get your web-based message out to a select group or the whole world. It's easy. A pioneer in webcasting, earthchannel.com provides the best products and services to big corporations and government users. And now this same technology is available to you. They have the best earthcast encoders, servers, and products to meet your technical needs. But wait, don't want to mess with technical stress? No problem. They'll do it for you. EarthChannel.com is your answer. You can use webcasting for lots of things like advertising, marketing, customer support, training, and don't forget, web radio and TV. In fact, you're listening to a live EarthCast right now. So come to EarthChannel.com. Actualize your audio or video webcasting needs today. You can't beat the friendly service or the price. Call EarthChannel.com at 1-800-849-8978. That's 1-800-849-8978. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com, visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. When you're looking for bedding, department store prices can shock you. Well, be shocked no more. Sell steak cheap, not cheap steak. That's the motto of Anna's Linens. Although they don't sell steak, they do sell the best bedding, bath, and home decor items. They strive to provide their merchandise at extreme value to their customers, and they do it. Great everyday prices on everything and military discounts. Plus, if you visit them online, they have clearance items and Internet specials. Visit them online now at HealthyLife.net's advertiser page. Radio your way. HealthyLife.net.
Okay, we're back, and this is Patty Smucker here at Radio AMB on HealthyLife.net. I'm here with Jim Palmer with uh, Buy Direct USA, and we've been talking about his, their directory uh, program that is extended not only for beauty companies. We have beauty companies on AmericanMadeBeauty.com, um, and we're partnering with Buy Direct USA because they are an extension. They have in, um, companies from all uh, different uh, uh, categories and, and industries. Um, and specifically also support those brands with uh, social media, uh, digital strategies, websites, that type of thing. So, Jim, tell us a little bit about the factors that many companies are missing out on in advertising, marketing, branding, and PR. Well, you know, the, the biggest thing is that um, I, tell, I, I, I know the bigger companies usually have this down, but uh, you'd be surprised at, at some of them. But... The biggest thing is that they don't diversify enough. They're not they're not utilizing uh, different types of advertising, especially when, if they're just doing online sales. Um, you know, there's there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's there's you know there's various places. But if you focus on just one thing, uh, you're missing out on a lot of opportunity. So what I tell people is that you know you you use the social media, you use the uh, paid work, you know, ad sales. Um, and you, and you, you find different areas where you can target your audience. And, and the biggest thing about marketing is that you have to have a good, solid plan. Know who your target audience is and before you do any kind of advertising. And, you know, that's a really hard, uh, a hard piece. How do, you, how do you help companies to get zeroed in on who that target audience is? Um, generally, most of the companies will know, but if, they, if they're not sure – then we look at the products that they're offering. So obviously if they're, they're selling makeup and beauty, their, their target audience are going to be mostly women. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, and, and we can help them narrow down age groups or whatnot. And, and, and generally they can do surveys with their, with their current customers and get a feel and, and general idea. Um, sometimes if they want to get uh, more information, they can hold a contest. Mm-hmm. And, you know, get people to divulge some information, and they do a giveaway. And, and this, this information is really paramount to what they can do to set up a good solid plan. Right. Okay. Um, you know, and, and there's also, if, if we can't do it, we recommend the uh, a Small Business Administration. Okay. Um, you know, they, and SCORE. They, they, they have lots of people, lots of uh, individuals who can help uh, professionals who, who've been in the industries and can really help uh, narrow narrow down what they need to do. Right. Uh, and that and that's before they spend a dime. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's so they, a, the, you know they get that in, they get that in place so they have a plan and then they can they can start targeting that audience. And that's a, an important point is that you know there are such some great resources of little or no cost through um, SBA Small Business um, Administration uh, and SCORE where talented uh, professionals in all disciplines of running a business are available. So I love that, that you recommend that that's one of the resources that companies use. Absolutely. Both of those, both, um, SBA, SCORE, um, even, even Forbes magazine online. Oh, really? Uh, Forbes has a lot of good, good information on there. You just have to be able to find it. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, I think Fortune Magazine was another good source, uh, but Forbes has done a very good, very good uh, research uh, tool for myself. So I, I know that uh, just about anybody can find some good, useful information on there. Right. And uh, Forbes is not an advertiser, of ours, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, if, if I can find good information, if I can help other people, uh, you know, be successful in their business, especially American manufacturers, I want to do what I can to help them. Right. Um, and and. That's always that's what we're all about, you know, the the, the people. So. Right. And do you find that sometimes uh, you're able to support them with um, actual uh, bodies that are able to do some of the work? Absolutely. Um, let's say, for example, you have several social media accounts and you're you're a two person operation. Um, social media management is a full time job. Um, we can we can help uh, take the burden and uh, actually manage those social media accounts. We can we can 
send out com uh, you know comments to people. We can have build relationships with your potential customers and your followers. We can build your following. Um, you know, we do all those things, and we post the content so that uh, it draws more attention to your your website and business. Um, and we have a way to defray negative comments and things like that too, uh, because you know social media you're going to get just about any kind of person on there that can say whatever they want. Right. So um, I've found that the best way to deal with uh, negative comments is to give them a positive one back. Hmm, interesting. You can't argue with somebody who won't argue with you. Mm -hmm. um, that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, like that's a, that sounds like that's a lifelong strategy there. <laughs> exactly. Well, live and learn, right? Um, but it works in social media as well. Uh -huh. um, you know, if somebody throws insults or whatever, um, you know, and, and, and unless they, they really go off the deep end, mm -hmm. usually you can you can diffuse the situation. And you can make them going away feeling happy. Right. Um, if you can do that, um, you probably want a customer for life. At the, at the very least, they'll stop the negative comments about you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and, and worst case scenario, you hit the block button. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't satisfy everybody, but you can darn sure try. And and so let's go back though. When you're talking about, I, I want to talk about this block button for in just a second. But when you're talking about building and managing social media and building a following and posting content and all of those kinds of things. How do you, um, if you're an outside resource, how do you maintain the voice of the brand? Well, you, we basically will learn everything we possibly can about the company. And, you know, we, we don't make any false claims or anything like that when we, when we, when we post the stuff that we post. Um, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, the company is, is, is represented correctly. So we post what, basically whatever information that we find on the website and we know that's true. Um, you know, we can we can definitely post uh, generic things too, like you know these these folks. We have a passion for Made in America, um, which most of our companies, well, all the companies we we represent do. But uh, you know, it, it's just getting to know each individual brand, getting to know the people behind the brand, and then and then going from there. That I mean, the content uh, usually flows pretty easy. And when you do have those situations in which you um, are trying to are needing to deal with blo with negative comments and you end up having to block somebody, I, I thought that that was something that's like a real no no. And does it negatively impact you when you block people? Um, for for Buy Direct USA, it, it hasn't, um, as, as far as we can tell, mm -hmm. because usually um, if, if somebody's extremely profane, things like that, and, and they're just arguing for the sake of arguing, um, we'd really focus, like to focus our attention onto something more positive. Right. And, you know, if you're going to sit there and, and continue to argue, even though we've, 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 you know, give you all the options that are available and do everything we can to, to help you, then, you know, we have to eventually shut it down. Right, right. Uh, it, it it just doesn't it doesn't have a positive impact on anyone. And what it really does is is draw more attention to the person, um, you know, starting the argument. Right. Um, so if 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 they're not they don't have anybody to talk to, and especially if they have a low following rate, a ratio, um, if they have a, you know fewer than 100 followers, um, it it really doesn't matter if you block them. <laughs> right. Well, and that's and that is one of the advantages as we wrap up this section. That is one of the advantages of working with a professional like you is that you know how to make those discerning uh choices. Uh, along the way. So we're going to take another break, and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the collaborations and partnerships that um, Buy Direct USA is making in order to further the message. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. 
At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easy for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. When you're looking for bedding, department store prices can shock you. Well, be shocked no more. Sell steak cheap, not cheap steak. That's the motto of Anna's Linens. Although they don't sell steak, they do sell the best bedding, bath, and home decor items. They strive to provide their merchandise at extreme value to their customers, and they do it. Great everyday prices on everything and military discounts. Plus, if you visit them online, they have clearance items and Internet specials. Visit them online now at HealthyLife.net's advertiser page. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com, visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. Oh man, it never fails. My suitcase just got ripped apart. Life is a journey. Make it a pleasant one. You Samsonite, you know the name. For almost a century, Samsonite luggage has proved itself to be the worldwide leader in innovative travel solutions. Let it be yours. Visit HealthyLife.net's affiliate Samsonite on our homepage and click to look at the fine luggage from suitcases to golf travel bags. And don't forget, take a look at their travel accessories. Make life a journey, a pleasant one, with Samsonite. HealthyLife.net, where positive overcomes negative. Thank you for listening to Radio AMB here on HealthyLife.net. This is Patty Smucker, and I'm here with Jim Palmer of Buy Direct USA. So Buy Direct USA is a directory uh, that also lists companies that make uh, products made in America, but from all different categories. And Jim, um, in addition, you also provide um, PR and um, advertising, digital marketing, that type of thing. Tell us about how you help the brands that work with you solve some of their problems. Well, um, a lot of the brands who, who come to us are usually uh, fairly small companies, but we, we do have larger ones as well. And their goal is to, you know, to reach more consumers, more potential consumers, or get their name out in front of more consumers so they have that brand recognition like all your big names do right now. Um, you know, they, they want, they want to, that exposure. A lot of them don't have uh, the time to deal with social media or they don't have uh, enough time to write content uh, about their products or services. Um, and, and that the, those are some of the things that we come in and we help them do. Um, but I can tell you, we, we we've gone beyond beyond that with with some of our customers. Uh, we had one customer who lost their URL, uh, meaning there was an issue, uh, and they lost their domain name. What? Well, they um, their domain name was taken up by somebody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that that's the short of it. Uh huh. Um, we helped them uh, procure another domain and get their website going again. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, we, 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 we go beyond what, what just marketing PR. Like I said, we, we care about our customers. Um, we, we want them doing well. So, um, But, you know, no matter what kind of issues they're facing, if they're having trouble um, getting the hang of Twitter or getting the hang of Facebook or Pinterest or any other gamut of social media, um, we're there to help them with that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give them information and tools uh, to, to help them uh, be more effective and proficient with those things. Uh, you know, the, you, you get people with all kinds of levels. But, you know, if, if, if they have the issue of, of not even having enough time to do those things, uh, we can take over those things for them. And you would be amazed at, at uh, how much a breath of the fresh air that can be to some, you know, entrepreneurs. Right. Uh, 
you know, they've, they've, they've gone through the trouble of making a great product and, and developing it and all that and uh, going through production and everything else there is to manage a business, and then you've got to go through the, the marketing and advertising and promotion and all that. Uh, those, are, those are full-time jobs, too. Uh, one person can only do so much. Yes. So that's, that's where we come in. We try to help them uh, ease the burden from them. And, and we take over some of those roles for them. Right, exactly. And so w- w- tell us, um, share w- with our audience a little bit about um, the partnership that you, uh, collaboration effects, um, efforts that you've made in some of the partnerships. Um, well, for example, Made in America Beauty. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we were introduced by a, a, one of the companies that you guys know of uh, called Footmate. Mm-hmm. And they're they're a great product. Uh, we've reviewed their products and, and we love them. And uh, so basically, what we can do is collaborate. There is we can we can uh, help one another out as, as far as reaching reaching more potential customers, getting getting the name out there. Um, you know, we we work with Made in America Beauty. That you know, um, and, and we're glad to do that. That means uh, more opportunity for uh, those in the beauty industry. And more opportunity for our advertisers to, you know, understand the beauty industry even even more. Um, you know, we I, I didn't realize there was so much laws just just pertaining labeling. Um, it, it's almost insane to me, but um, it, 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 it's good and useful information. Um, and you know, we also also utilize uh, partnerships with, with a company like Manufacturing Day. Um, John Ratzenberger uh, contacted us a couple of years ago and said he wanted to uh, partner with us um, as far as getting a show started. Uh, hasn't made to happen yet, but uh, we'd like to see that to where he can do another Made in America show. Uh, and, and we utilize these opportunities to uh, get more PR for our customers. And, and when we have these these collaborative opportunities, uh, even with uh, additional media companies where our advertisers can get uh, special deals on, on national television spots or, you know, radio or, or Internet spots even, um, you know, those are the types of things that we try to do to uh, make life a little bit better for the entrepreneurs and, and the uh, U.S. manufacturers. And what I love about this whole process is we're all just sort of leveraging each other's voice. And um, when when I learned about your website, it was um, great to see somebody doing it in all uh, various different types of industries. But as you mentioned, the whole idea of brands made in the, in the beauty sector, that it's not just meeting the criteria about what it means to be made in America, but for beauty brands, you you also, we also have a variety of different rules that um, are affect labeling and the way that the you know whether you're advertising it as a drug or as a cosmetic and the difference between that. So being able to collaborate with um, by Direct USA has allowed American Made Beauty to further educate consumers on why they want to have brands that have been properly vetted, and that's really what both. By Direct USA and American Made Beauty is doing is being sort of third parties that are verifying the companies that are making that claim really have uh, done all of the due diligence that are necessary. Uh, and so I'm excited to partner with you, Jim, and, and be a part of continuing to advance, uh, advance this opportunity. What's next for um, By Direct USA? What do you see um, coming up in the near future that you're excited about? In the near future, I don't know, space ex- exploration? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, we, we, we have so many different things that we're, we're trying to do. Um, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll come up with some uh, other things that we can do to um, help, help people who are looking for jobs, um, you know, help manufacturers uh, get positions filled. I, I think there's a lot of opportunity there, and I think, you know, we, we, we're hoping to get involved with that, too. Right. Well, and I love the idea of a Made in America show. We've been working on uh, a variety of different things. Um, we've got a um, a uh, group of brands that we are actually taking to the Indie Beauty Show in New York in August, uh, six American Made Beauty brands that we will be showcasing there uh, in a pavilion at the uh, Indie Beauty Show. So if you have an opportunity to be in New York, 
uh, August 22nd and 23rd. Uh, we'll have a capsule of brands there. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll continue to work with uh, Buy Direct USA and uh, look at being able to continue to advance this story about the importance of buying in America, not only for the reasons economically, which allows us to rebuild our cities and things like that, but because of the issue of quality and safety and innovation. So um, I love the idea that we've been able to collaborate with one another, Jim. Absolutely. I feel the exact same way, Patty. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Jim, thanks for being with us, and thanks for your hard work. We continue to look uh, for opportunities to, uh, to, to grow together. I look forward to it as well. So um, thanks for being with us today. Join us next week when I have two guests, Marlene Katz and Intelligent, um, and Intelligent Skin Sense, and we'll talk about um, some of the exciting things that are happening in the world of skin and Facebook group uh, called Beauty. Send us your comments to, re- to request at American May Beauty. Thank you for listening to Radio A&B, where we think pretty is pretty important in all things in beauty. For all your live or pre-recorded webcasting needs, come to earthchannel.com. Get your web-based message out to a select group or the whole world. It's easy. A pioneer in webcasting, earthchannel.com provides the best products and services to big corporations and government users. And now this same technology is available to you. They have the best Earthcast encoders, servers, and products to meet your technical needs. But wait, don't want to mess with technical stress? No problem. They'll do it for you. EarthChannel.com is your answer. You can use webcasting for lots of things like advertising, marketing, customer support, training, and don't forget, web radio and TV. In fact, you're listening to a live EarthCast right now. So come to EarthChannel.com. Actualize your audio or video webcasting needs today. You can't beat the friendly service or the price. Call EarthChannel.com at 1-800-849-8978. That's 1-800-849-8978. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Obstacle racing. You know you want to try it. Well, try Reebok Spartan Race, the global leader in obstacle racing. With four different race levels, their goal is to get you up off the couch and throw you into the mud and on the trails to give you the adrenaline rush of your life. Obstacle courses are designed to test your resilience, strength, stamina, quick decision-making skills, and give you the ability to laugh in the face of adversity. Visit HealthyLife.net advertiser page and click on Spartan Race. HealthyLife.net, the positive radio network.